We are broadcasting live. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. It has taken us two hours to get here. <laughs> everyone has skills. And Nikki Myers has more skills, more resources, more wisdom, more experience than I can begin to describe to you. But one of them is not going live on any <laughs> this is true you know and it's really important to know what i'm good at and to know when to ask for help you know for this one i should have called my granddaughter or someone else and asked for help <laughs> same. same i'm i'm so thrilled that we made it work <laughs> that we persevered um, this this morning, this afternoon, Eastern time with Nikki. We have, we have gone through some hilarious moments of uh, <laughs> ineptitude, working toward bringing you all information about our upcoming intensive that will be online. And we promise we know how to use Zoom That's right. um, to offer it to you uh, in September, through the month of September. We're bringing you something called Reclaim Yourself, bringing all the parts of yourself back home, integrating all aspects of who you are so that you can act out of integrity. That's right. So maybe we should introduce ourselves. I'll start. This is Nikki Myers, y'all. <laughs> Nikki Myers. <laughs> <laughs> who I was just saying earlier on an Instagram live that that was a full stop no go is uh, my favorite person to collaborate with just one of my favorite human beings in the world and I love saying that because I'm not alone in it so many of us feel that way about you those of us who get to know you to get to truly have you in our lives um, for me as a mentor and as a teacher and as a dear dear friend and of course sister wife uh, nikki is the founder of y12sr but when she introduces herself it'll sound uh, much more integrated because she also includes things that some people might hold shame over if they didn't know better and didn't recognize their inherent worth the birthright of their value the way that nikki does so i'll let you introduce yourself because i I can't I come love it. And then I get to introduce you. When I'm done with that, I get to introduce you like you introduced me, right? right, right. Um, so, you know, I do this everywhere, and I don't care where I am, right? And it doesn't matter, right? And it's I'm Nikki, I'm an addict, I'm an alcoholic, I'm a codependent, I'm the survivor of both childhood and adult sexual trauma, I'm a love addict, I'm a recovering debtor spender, and and one of the things that we're going to talk about a lot in reclaiming ourselves is that big three letter word and yeah. and right and it's all of that it's not or or it's not making that bad off one wrong because all of that is a part of the experience of who i am and I am uh, the founder of Y12SR, which is the Yoga 12-step recovery. I am an MBA. I am a somatic experiencing practitioner. I am a yoga therapist. I am the mother of two living and one deceased child. I am the grandmother of five. I'm the great-grandmother of two and a half. Right. I got one another great grandchild on the way. And again, part of this whole thing and reclaiming self is I love saying all that in the same sentence, because the work for me has this journey has been really about reclaiming all those parts, because all those are part of the experience of who I am. And then the other and on the part of that. While all of those inform my walk in the world, the truth is that none of them define me. So there's even more of a paradox in that, right? How do I integrate all parts in this humanness of who I am and recognize that none of them define me? We're both human and divine. Right? And I don't have to do anything for the divine part. That's already here. 
the human part is the part we have to work on, right? The hu being fully human, right? And so how do I integrate all parts of this experience into the being, the human, the humanness, right? As I walk in this plane of existence. So that's part of the work that we're going to tell you about in reclaiming ourselves. And like um, Melody said, you know, I love doing this work. Doing this work in collaboration with uh, with Dr. Melody Moore, who, and I love saying that whole thing, you know, Dr. Melody Moore, it attests to her perseverance, number one, to go through all that. It, te it attests to um, um, brilliance, right? When I work with Melody, the word that always comes to mind and when I describe her, is brilliant and i mean that from the deepest sense of that word it's not just brilliant from an academic perspective although she's got all that all of that right it's also the the brilliance from the integrative place inside out rather than just outside in right when she teaches when she is just, you know, who she is in the world, there is a, a, a brilliance like light, right? That emits from, from who she is, right? And it just makes it such a joy, not only to be in collaboration with her, but just to witness her as she walks through the world. And so nothing makes me happier than, than doing this work. With, with her. We've done it a couple of times, right? And uh, real, really more than a couple of times, but we usually do it in a, a different way. It's usually done in, in, in an immersive environment. We've done it at Omega. We've done it at the Art of Living. We've done it several other places. Um, uh, but now we're doing it online, right? And I'm real excited about the opportunity to take this online so brilliant dr moore i'm gonna <laughs> I know, it's so hard to take that in but that was that was, what was just what i was gonna ask you right you know and and that's part of this whole thing yeah. too right allowing and, mm -hmm. and taking that in and you know when i hear it from you right it, it always because i know you know given our commitment to being in have, having spiritual consent with each other mm -hmm. right i can't dismiss it right somebody you know, <laughs> right you, you know, have right? to you have to right i have because i yeah. know you know that that you don't lie to me i know mm -hmm. that right and so it's really something to take it in to really take it in. And I'm happy to hear you experience it the same way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here like oh, open. <laughs> yeah, open to receive. Open to receive and to be with that. I think I named earlier on one of the times that it wasn't working that <laughs> we see in other people a reflection of ourselves. And it, it's a real testament to who you are the way that you see me and I, and I have to hold both that you've taught me right to to hold both the like thank you to stand in the honoring you enough honoring that you're being truthful with me honoring your trustworthiness enough to say thank you and accept it and really allow myself to embody what it feels like to be seen in that way to be called brilliant by you to be seen as authentic by you because to not allow for that dishonors you too. That's right. It takes That's away right. your experience too. Uh, and it disrupts our intimacy and our trust. That's right. um, and, and it doesn't allow for me to, uh, to be seen and to be held and to That's feel connected right. and to feel a, a sense of belonging. And so as like, yes, there's a part of me that wants to squirm and there's another part of me that, uh, the wisdom says soften and open and receive that. Um, not because it separates me or makes me special or different, but in fact, because it connects us. And if I can accept that, then me too, I can 
if I see myself as capable in any way, as having any kind of quality that um, is is valuable to me, then in the same way, I can give that reflection back to other people. That's right. That's and without right. it, I one can't. Oh, I was going to say one of my favorite words lately. I've got several words that are among my favorites right now. And one of them is allow, right? Allowing, mm. right? And that that is an action, right? And that's one yeah. of the things that's so important in, in reclaiming all these parts of ourselves, right? To allow, right? The yeah. learnings to allow the beingness, right, to allow all of those things. And one of my other favorite words is cultivate, right? I mm -hmm. love the word cultivate, right? This isn't, you know, this is, I know some of our subject matter is talking about how we cultivate integrity, mm -hmm. right? How we cultivate gratitude, how we cultivate forgiveness, Right, that those are all things that we cultivate. And, you know, this is some of the things we're going to weave in and talk about through the course of our eight weeks. No, eight sessions. Days, yeah. In where we, four weeks. Yeah. 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 So, we, yes, we are going to talk about, teach about, listen for Monday and Wednesday nights, the whole month of September. And like Nikki was saying earlier on a, a failed attempt, <laughs> um, you know, there's a real there's a real gift in taking this work online. Besides that, it's way more accessible for more people because we're not having to also pay the price of staying in a retreat center, which is lovely. Uh, but the immersion of being at home and being able to take take the skills, take the tools, take the teachings in integrate it and be in your life while practicing <laughs> be in the relationships with the substances and the processes and the people that you live with um and over a longer stretch of time over a month instead of a week we're ex i'm excited i know nikki has said the same thing about what the possibilities might be um being able to do this in such an, an immersive in your environment way and instead of being in that the sweetness uh, of the retreat center and then going home and being hit with like, oh, in the reality of my day to day, this feels really different to be able to practice these skills and these tools. So I'm excited that we're yeah, going to. I was going to say there's a shock trauma to that, yeah. right? There's a shock yeah. trauma into, oh, yeah. I'm home, you know. Now, I, 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 there's just this, uh, of course, my term is uh, the what the fuck, right? You get that immediately. So hopefully, right, in this way, we'll be able to integrate and land in it, right, in a way that uh, it'll allow it to more deeply integrate into our for real, for real day to day. Yeah. Living. Yeah. And so y'all know, Nikki and I really thought about when we first co-created this course, what if we were to break down what at its core, how would you describe it, Nikki? I'm open to your, your memory <laughs> interpretation, but what are the skills? What are the tools? What are the teachings that have been essentially most life-changing for us that have kept right. each of us? And we really talked and discussed it for a while and cultivated it over a few years of teaching different workshops together. What's like the greatest hits? <laughs> what do I, what would I want somebody to most know in order to be um, at ease in their life, right? in order to allow uh, for support of the universe of divine, your understanding of God in their life, to be able to be in relationships with that which they value most in integrity. So if somebody is um, like we both have been recovering from addiction, from process addiction, from codependency, how could I, what would I most need to know in order to start to be able to be in my experience, stay present to sensations in my body, be able to align 
what I'm thinking, feeling, saying with what I'm doing, be able to act in such a way that feels like I'm holding myself and other people with dignity, be able to be um, in relationship to other people in a way that feels boundaried, that feels supportive of who I am and of my truth and also compassionate and empathetic to others, right? Just essentially like <laughs> how to reclaim all the parts of myself, how to take the parts of me that I was once ashamed of because I have gotten it so wrong. I have caused so much harm to myself and to others. How do I take those parts and welcome them back in uh -huh. to my experience? How do I take the parts of myself that I think separate me or make me um, too too easy to avoid or reject or abandon, bring all that in so that I can claim my wholeness so that I can be in relationship to other people and to process by process. I mean, to spirituality, to spending, to eating, to drinking, to sexing, to social media, <laughs> to <laughs> whatever process behavior um, that feels like I'm in integrity, that feels like I'm congruent. Like I like and approve of who I am and that allows me to be open and generous with uh, with and in my relationships to others as well. And so what we've come up with in the, the arc of this curriculum is it it's so packed full of all yeah. that. Right. It really is. It's like, <laughs> we, how are we doing that? It really is. Yeah. And uh, what I love about it, one of the things I love about it most is that it's somatic, right? It's it's based in, we're, number one, we're gonna ground this in the ancient wisdom of yoga philosophy and the science, the art and science of yoga, right? And to bring that to a level that is somatic, right? And what's, it, what's um, uh, most useful about that for me is it gives me a way as I attune to what's going on to my body to know whether I'm in or out of balance or relationship with myself, right? And and I'm always going to go out of, you, you, you never stay completely on path all the time. I know unless you're maybe a Jesus or a Buddha <laughs> or or one of the enlightened ones, but I don't even know what enlightenment is and I'm not gonna pretend like I do. So I, I, but what I do know today is what homeostasis is for me. And in that knowing, I can recognize whether I'm in it or out of it and then use tools, right? To come back to balance again. When I go off and I will, Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to beat the shit out of myself anymore. As y'all know, I cuss. Right. So <laughs> I don't have, to, I don't have to, to beat myself up. Right. Or to act in a way where, you, you know, where I commit more abuse and harm mm -hmm. to myself and others. Rather, I got a set of tools. Right. And so part of what we want to introduce you to are some of those tools, right? Like like Melody said, the, the we want to give you the greatest of these tools for you to work with and figure out for yourself and what that means for yourself. Yeah. Because another of Nikki's favorite words is it depends. The best That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. So um you know, we are we're doing this live through a through an avenue, so I can't see questions. Um, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> just to give you more information, if you're still with us, reclaim yourself. The um, I'll put in the comments the website you can go to to register to find out more details and information. It's bitly slash reclaim you 2020. Um, over the month of September, Monday and Wednesday nights at uh, for two hours each, we'll do three to five PST West Coast where I live and six to eight EST East Coast where Nikki lives, so covering the coast with that. And, you know, I, I get and I know Nikki does, too, that this is a real commitment to make to yourself. I, what I can say to that is 
What a gift to offer yourself. No kidding. What a gift to offer yourself. Um, to what an act of self love to give yourself the the committed space and time to look deeper into what where are the places where you're holding yourself back you know, what um what what can you not see what do you not know um and and to be able to dive more deeply into how to become again just more in integrity more in al alignment with your values like nikki said nikki's a somatic experiencing practitioner also a yoga teacher of many many years also a consummate student every time we talk which is often like what are you learning where are you going and nikki's constantly you know off at the himalayan institute learning more right. in india learning more in san diego from her teachers learning more which i love about you i was just sitting here looking at and thinking like I don't know how many combined years of uh, teaching we have or being, you know, I'm a psychologist and a yoga teacher too. We both founded nonprofit organizations, but we are, I think we're 110 years old. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Holding it down at 110 years old. Wow. So probably more important than all of that, right? All those letters behind the names or whatever comes with that is life. <laughs> Just being, being, um, being yeah, here in the world, yeah. live experience. And like you've said, I think your teacher Sadhguru has said, we're all, we're all animals on this planet. We're all animals on this yeah. planet. Right, right. We're all animals on the planet. We're how do I stop and, and be a part of the flow of life? Right, and quit trying to. One of the other things we talk about this in, in the scene is the what what I love to call. It's often called the il illusion of control. I almost like to call it the delusion of control. Yeah. Right, and and you know how can we just stop and be a part of life because you can't control it anyway. Right, the things we can influence. So these are all conversations. I wanted to bring in, you know, we haven't done this work for a while. Melody said this on one of our earlier failed Instagram live things, <laughs> right? But um, we've heard from folks who have participated in this over the years that this, you know, we were doing it in a, a five day uh, format when we were or doing it in person. But the comments from that have been things like, this is like 10 years worth of infant therapy, right? And held in this container, you know, that we will create with each other to hold ourselves in the, this con container in order to do the depth of work that, that, that we're bringing forward with this. And, and, you know, it really can be and has been for many uh, like 10 years worth of therapy and not at the cost of <laughs> not at the cost. Trust, <laughs> trust us. Trust us. Right. <laughs> About that. I think this is 295 for the, for eight weeks of live or four weeks, eight sessions. That's a lot. That's 16 hours. Yeah. That's a lot of time. Um, so, so offer it to you. If you can, you get to learn from Nikki. I mean, I, I would take it from Nikki if I could. I'm so grateful that I get to be here and get to and get to collaborate and, and learn alongside you and learn from those of you who want to come and be a part of this experience, which is something that happens too, right? There is so much wisdom within all of us. And so teachers, facilitators, therapists, coaches, nutritionists, sponsors, we encourage you to come and be part of this. That's right. Um, and get a space for yourself to be held and to, you know, and to continue to learn with us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So we are going to do a webinar. Uh, yes. Right. We're going to offer like a little one hour webinar. When is it again? August 13th. August 13th. I should remember that. That's my niece's birthday. So uh, on August 13th, we're going to do a little webinar. And in that, you know, we'll, we'll offer like at least one of the kind of experiences. So you'll get an, a little bit of, of an experiential sense of, of what the work is and what we're going to do with that. And we certainly hope you'll join us 
for, for, for that. We'd love to have you. As a part of that, if this interests you in any way or, or you can see benefit for you from it in any way, please join us for that. When is it? It's August 13th. Right. August 13th is at the same time as the, the course will okay. be 3 p.m. PST, 6 p.m. EST. Um, we'll send out a link to register for that and it'll be on Zoom so you can join us and get a, get at least a tool. That'll be free as just yeah. another way of, you know, Nikki and I were talking about how much we don't really love doing things like that we're doing right now. <laughs> how difficult it is to try to sell something. But I said to her, you know, it's, you won't know we're offering it if we don't tell you about it. And the work is just so good. It's so useful and so helpful to folks and it is rich and it's depthful. And, you know, I know it's, um, I speak for me, you can speak for yourself, of course, but um, it's part of why we're here, like doing, doing this work on this earth is to offer it. And so that webinar is another way of trying to say, this is what we're offering and we hope that you'll come and be a part of it. And, and again, because the, this moment that we're in, this pandemic, holy shit, um, we're, we're in it. And I know as a therapist, you know, I know as a person, it everything is more difficult. The, it's like we're walking in the frequency of trauma and just everything feels to me more difficult. It's not all bad, nothing is, but it is challenging in, in ways that were previously unanticipated. Um, to be quarantined, to to be considering what's happening and to whom and who's being impacted and in what ways, right? It, this is a lot. It's just a lot to manage. And so I feel like, and I know Nikki feels like more than ever, having resources on board to be able to stay uh, in our bodies, That's to, right. to stay in the flow, to try to find equilibrium with ourselves is really necessary. That's right. right now. That's right. right now. And so that's one of the reasons why we're offering this right now and why I want people to know about it right now, because we need the tools <laughs> right now and to be able to stay um, the highest iterations of ourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, um, you know, and I love that piece. I'm looking at behind me, there's Lakshmi, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And I always love that thought. Well, you know, I think we'll get to a session where we'll talk about some things relative mm -hmm. to that. And there's a whole conversation that's relative to that. But what I love as it relates to reclaiming self is, you know, Lakshmi is about, you know, not just wealth as we, we talk about it. It's, it's about healing the inner poverty. <laughs> Right. And, and that's what this reclaim it. We are incredible being right. We are truly divine. We are truly divine. And this is navigating the humanness. Right. We don't have to do anything like I was saying before on our Instagram thing. Right. We don't have to do anything. We're, we're divine. And that just that's the truth. It just is. It's the human part that gets tricky. Yeah. Right. And and we develop this sense of inner poverty. We develop yeah. this sense of inner. And so this work is about reclaiming, right, our wealth, right? Not just, in, of course, not just talking about materially, right? And so our, our intellectual wealth, right? Our, our relationship, relating mm -hmm. wealth. There's mm -hmm. a wealth there that we can reclaim. Right, because this it's ours. And so this is a part of what all this is. All right. How do we reclaim this stuff? I love that. Oh yeah. talk about brilliant. That's we Nikki know. Myers, y'all. I love it. All right. So thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging with us. Thank you, yeah. Nikki, for your time <laughs> <laughs> to get us, took us on live yeah. somewhere. Uh, please share this if you've watched the video and, well, and taken anything from it or one. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Life takes that. <laughs> Tenacious. <laughs> um, so thank you. And we hope to see you in our course all through the month of September. Reclaim yourself. Thank you, Nikki, so much. I love thank you. you. I love you. <laughs>